the microtubule in a cell has a positive end and a negative end the microtubule is made up of proteins like alpha tubulin and beta tubulin this is the part of kinesin 1 protein the kinesin 1 is a highly processive motor each motor head of kinesin 1 is attached to the coiled coil stock by a neck linker. The neck linkers are flexible in nature. Initially, each motor head of kinesin 1 has a bound ADP. During the process of working, one motor head binds to the beta tubulin subunit in the microtubule. This binding induces the loss of ADP from the motor head bound to beta tubulin subunit in the microtubule. As a result, bound motor head becomes nucleotide free. It also results into strong binding of motor head to the microtubule. This is the leading head and to this leading head an ATP then binds. The trailing head remains bounded to the ADP. The binding of an ATP to the leading head induces a conformational change. Due to this conformational change, the neck linker region points forward and the neck linker is dubbed into the head domain. As a result, the neck linker thrusts the trailing head forward. Now, the leading head which was previously the trailing head binds to the next beta tubulin subunit in the microtubule and releases the bound ADP. This ADP release induces the trailing head which was previously the leading head to hydrolyze its bound ATP to form ADP and PI. The PI is then released. Now the trailing head can dissociate from the microtubule and this cycle repeats. The dimer of alpha tubulin subunit and beta tubulin subunit in a protofilament of a microtubule has a length of 8 nanometer. So during working, each motor head of kinesin 1 takes a step of length 16 nanometer. Please like, subscribe and share.